All right, there we go. Oh man, this place is looking so nice. I am absolutely loving this build. I uh, I decided to do some work off camera. Well, I mean, with the replay mod, some building. Uh, by the way, welcome back everybody to another episode of Build a Book with Germ. 208, I think, episode 208. Um, but yeah, I decided to do some work off camera and recorded it with the replay mod, and oh man, I am loving it. Put the road in here, as you can see. Um, got some more houses in here. Man, I'm just absolutely loving this project. I'm wanting to do some interiors at some point, uh, but I'm not exactly sure when I want to do that. I want to, I think I might want to do some more houses first, and then maybe we can just knock out a bunch of interiors, uh, in an episode or something. I think that would be pretty cool, but let's go ahead and sleep real quick. Can I sleep here? Yes, I can. But today, we're probably going to get a few more houses done. Uh, along this little like curve here um, I'll do that in another replay mod or another replay obviously wow that really scared me um so we'll get that done at some point later in the episode but uh, the main focus of today's episode is gonna be in there I want to do a iron farm uh, as I mentioned last episode and we're gonna do it inside of this big stone thing the stone thing is going to go all the way around. Uh, I don't know how big it's going to be. However big it needs to be to fit an iron farm in here. I think the interior uh, of these houses, they're they're going to stop like right here. And then anything below is going to be iron farm stuff. And then I think the entrance to the iron farm is going to be over here in this house. Uh, this is where we're going to be having the iron farm shop, uh, I guess. We'll have iron farm running, or iron, we'll have iron running from the farm, probably down there. We'll have a minecart coming up and it'll, uh, like, empty out up in here. And we'll decorate this to be like a little shop, uh, downstairs shop area, and then we'll have some housing upstairs, uh, like the shop owners uh, live up there maybe, or maybe it's just like apartments or something like that. Maybe we'll have a staircase up on the side of the building somewhere. I don't know. But before we jump into that, I want to hop over to a, uh, well, to the snapshot. There was a snapshot that came out today, well, the day I'm recording this, on Wednesday, uh, the 9th, the 9th. And uh, I want to hop over to a creative test world and check that out. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, here we are in the snapshot. 
and today okay uh, uh today's snapshot added a few new blocks let's come out here it added the honeycomb block and the honey block and i've edited the model of this a little bit because in the snapshot it's actually wrong the model in the snapshot the, all the sides are the same texture they're all the bottom texture and they're not supposed to be that they're supposed to be uh different textures for each side so there's a unique top a unique side and a unique bottom and uh, i've went, i've gone ahead and fixed that but yeah they're pretty interesting blocks obviously they're really only useful for exactly what they're made to be um like the honey especially the honey uh, i don't really see this being anything other than the honey um for i mean maybe you know what maybe like a crystal like a crystal uh cave or something could be cool for that obviously this would look better oh these don't connect though hmm well maybe not then uh, if those connected, that would be really cool for like a crystal cave. This kind of reminds me of a block that you would see in a mod that uh, that's supposed to be like a crystal or something. I think it's a really cool texture though. I don't know. Maybe we'll come up with something else that we can use it for, but uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't really see that being the case. And then this honeycomb block. I really like this texture, but it's just so bright and vibrant. I don't see myself using it really. I think if anything, I might go in in the texture pack and like make it a little more brown, a, maybe a little bit closer to like this color. Um, or let's see. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe closer to oak. But uh, I think the only way I would be able to use that is if I change the color a little bit. I like the texture itself, but the color is a little strange, a little bright. I mean, it's exactly what it should be. Uh, I think it matches the honeycomb perfectly, the honeycomb item texture. Uh, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's super useful. For example, I tried using it for a roof block because I have a texture in my uh, terracotta add-on that's kind of a similar shape to this, uh, but that did not work at all. Um, but this, I could see it being useful for something like this, for a wallpaper. And this block is not great for this uh, example. Let's just swap it out with maybe that. Oh man, I don't know. It's really tough. It's really, really tough. Um, there's not many textures that it goes well with because it's just so, so vibrant and so uh, bright. Uh, but you know what? Hmm, I just got an idea actually. Let's try something here really quick together. What about for a bed? Huh? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Let's put this on the back. Stack it up a little higher. I don't know. That could be that could be pretty cool. How do you how do people usually do the sides of beds? I don't ever make beds like this. Maybe a sign? Maybe we put a sign on the side. Like this. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. And then slabs on top of that. Uh, not that. Probably not that. Um, I don't know. That's not that's not terrible. I think that's pretty cool. Um, for like a blanket texture. Yeah, I don't know. Could be useful for that, but I don't see myself ever using that. Uh, and then in the ceiling here, I got little lights with the uh, the honey block covering them. I think that looks pretty cool. I do like that. Kind of looks like a, a different type of glass, maybe. And I like that. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for ways to use this block, let me know. Uh, send me some pictures over on Discord or uh, or Twitter even if, uh, if you have any ideas for this. There's a link to my Discord in the description if you want to join that. So I don't know. Send me your ideas. I think it could be a really cool block, but I just don't know how to use it yet. All right, so like I said earlier today, this area right here is what we're gonna be working on with the iron farm and uh, probably some sorting and stuff, stuff like that. But uh, before we jump into that, I wanna show you some texture stuff that I've been working on. So this one right here is a small one, but I added a new cobblestone variant. So yeah, just added a little bit of color, uh, kind of inspired by what B-Dubs did in his resource pack with the different colored cobblestones. Uh, and I just like how it looks so I figured I would add that and it doesn't really like make a huge difference to be honest 
uh, but you can kind of tell it's there. It's not it's not super obvious, but if you're looking closely, you can see that it's there. Something I'm pretty sure I showed in the last episode, but I'm not positive, is this connected texture uh, for all the logs and all the stripped logs. I even got it figured out for uh, birch, which was pretty difficult to do, but uh, yeah, got that figured out with the variants. Uh, so that is nice. I may need to do some uh, edits to the texture. Oh, interesting. It's uh, random on each side now. I uh, wonder if I can change that because I don't like that so much, but uh, yeah, I need to make some edits of the textures still to make them blend together a little bit better like that white spot right there in the middle looks a bit strange uh, But other than that Those are pretty cool and I've also reset the uh, note block texture back to the vanilla texture and I've made a new texture for crafting tables and I think they look much nicer they fit in with the vanilla much better obviously uh, I basically used the vanilla texture and then just made a bunch of edits to it. Uh, I think it looks much better than what we had before. I like it quite a bit. I'm going to be using this much more for uh, decoration, I think. Where can we put this one? Let's put one right there. Uh, that looks a bit weird. We'll put one on this side. So yeah, I like that as how I'm going to be using it, probably. Uh, and the sides do randomize. Like, it'll randomly rotate the sides. So uh, it won't always be this on this side it'll uh, swap back and forth, so that's nice. And that is all uploaded to my Patreon now. I just uploaded it uh, Wednesday night. So if you're a patron and you want that, then uh, there you go. It's already up on there if you haven't seen it. And if you wanna become a patron, link in the description as always. But uh, now we need to go ahead and get to work on this iron farm. And I know nothing about this. I haven't done any pre-planning or even looking at any tutorials. I just know what the iron farm somewhat looks like. And uh, <laughs> that's it. I don't know how it works or anything. Uh, so I do have, actually, I did do one thing ahead of time. I did get a zombie villager and it's gone. What? It's gone. Okay, I guess I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything ahead of time. Uh, so I'm gonna have to get to work. Uh, I think we have a village off that way that maybe we can steal some villagers. For oh wait, we have that desert one right there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so we'll steal some villagers from that probably. I don't think we need many. I don't think we need many anymore uh, for iron farms in this update. So yeah, that shouldn't be too difficult, but I'm gonna go ahead and start doing some research and get to work on this and I'll be back with you in just a little bit. All right, there we go. Been working on the farm a little bit and we got the uh, zombie in there. But now we need to get some villagers. So I'm gonna have to go over to that desert village over there. Or, no, I think that is the closest village. Uh, I'm gonna have to go over there and gather up some villagers now. So that is gonna be uh, an interesting task. Uh, probably pretty difficult. We're probably gonna have to boat them over all the way around to like there and then bring a minecart. Uh, straight through from there uh, So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that now and I'll be back in just a little bit All right, we're back and I got some villagers in here and I ended up finding a few zombie villagers actually and uh, Curing them so that helped a lot because I had to go way off to that Savannah village boat them over I actually lost one of the villagers. They died uh, They got into that spot over there and then they suffocated so that sucked, but Got the villagers in there, so the next step, I think, actually, I think we should be getting spawns here fairly soon, if not already, so let's hop up here and take a look. Yeah, nothing yet, but hopefully soon. All right, there we go. This thing is done, and I just heard, I just heard, yeah, there we go, iron ingots, and actually, I wonder how often they're gonna spawn. It doesn't seem like it's a super, uh, super efficient farm. I may end up swapping this out with Doc M77's design because this isn't a great design, it seems like. Uh, seems very, very slow. Like that was two and it's been, I mean, it's been a few minutes, but there should be more than two spawning, I feel like. I wonder if I add more villagers to this, if it would spawn even more. Oh, there's one. 
I may try that. I may try to add a few more villagers to this. All right, so now I wanna come in here and start working on a little interior for this place. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna put logs right there and then fill in these gaps with cobblestone. And actually, we'll do stone bricks on the bottom here, just like we did on that side. And I'm thinking for the floor, I think I wanna do a mix of stone, cobblestone, and well, I was gonna say stone, cobblestone, and a site, but that's what the roads are. So maybe we just do coarse dirt and dirt. Yeah, you know what? I think I am gonna do that. I think that's what we're gonna do. Coarse dirt and dirt. I might have to go grab more coarse dirt, but uh, that'll be good, I think. And on the back here, let's see. I think we'll come out uh, three more, three more blocks here. So put a dirt block there and log there. I think that's how far we're gonna come out with this house. Uh, I did start putting that trim right there, but I think I'll probably remove that uh, because that goes on the very edge of the building pretty much. So we'll remove that and move it over here probably. Uh, but yeah, we'll do this here, log here. And I did mention I wanted to have like a rail coming down from the iron farm. And you know what? Let's actually check this iron farm. Let's see. Let's see how much more we've gotten. Oh, wow. 40. Okay. Wow, okay, this is a lot better than I thought. Um, but we'll have a rail coming down probably right here, right at this little three wide section. So let's do this, one, two, three, put a log there, and we'll chop down this tree eventually. And we'll somehow bring this in here. We'll probably do that, and then like a little, a little doorway type thing right here, and actually stone bricks go on the top here as well. And we'll do a little stair right there. And you know what? Let me go ahead. I'm going to fill these walls in and fill in the floor and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. We got the walls up and I'm going to get the ceiling up in a bit, but I want to do some decorating first. So first of all, uh, well, let's put down a crafting table so we can craft up some, some spruce slabs. And I want to have a pile of barrels somewhere, probably in like this back corner. So we can just put that there for now. And we'll just throw some stuff in there so we can get it out of the inventory. Uh, but let's craft up some slabs real quick. And this is where the uh, minecart is going to come out of. So I want to have a little thing, like a little track coming out right here. And do I have rails on me? I don't. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have a hopper right here feeding into a barrel right here. And we'll put that like, wait, where the hopper go? There it is. We'll put that right there and we'll probably cover that up with some trap doors or something. Yeah, that'll be good. What can we put here? Cause I want to have powered rail right there and then that'll lead off that way. And we'll probably do something a little more fancy here later on, but we can do this for now. Cause I want it to look like it's going up there. Uh, and then, you know what? We should have a trap door there too. To maybe look like we can close it, but it's open for now. Uh, and then how can we power this? uh and have it send off and actually let's just go ahead and block that for right now so we don't send it all the way outside because if we do a trap door here first of all that's gonna flip all the trap doors open and we don't want that and actually we're not even gonna be able to activate that from anywhere without it looking weird so we do can't do that uh what about a stair we can do a stair there and we could move we can move the barrel to the front so it looks a little less strange. Just sitting there. Uh, do we do it like that? No, because then it looks like a rail on top. So we'll do this. And give me that. And we'll do a hopper facing that way. And something here. Maybe a, just a full block or that. That there? Yeah, I think I like that. And then we could do a button there maybe and powered rail, minecart. If I press that, no, doesn't work. Okay, now if I press that, does it work? No. Okay, that's cool, that's fine. Um, well, is it activating actually? No, it's not, okay. So it would have to be up here. Now if we do it there, that activates the rail, but it doesn't get pushed off because that has to be a full block as well. So we can put a full block there, and then if we put that here, yeah, that works. Okay. So I think that might be what we have to do. And I'm actually okay with that. Uh, we can bring this up. And then we can incorporate like a, a beam going across there. 
Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. I like that. So now let's go ahead and pile up some barrels back here just to add uh, a little bit of decoration, but we can also use it as storage uh, just to get some stuff out of our inventory. So I do like that. I do like that. And I got to grab one more rail to put back there. Boom. Yeah, that's good. And we can do some stuff to kind of decorate it. If we come up here, put the beam up here just so we know what we're doing here. Um, and let's, let's put the ceiling right on this level actually that way we can put an actual floor in you know what that's gonna be hmm no yeah that is good that's good okay so we'll put that across there whoops not like that like that and then if we do what do we want to do do we want to do a fence here no I think we'll do a stair there yeah and a stair there and then we can uh, smooth it out with some trap doors. Uh, no, that's a little too much. We'll just do one stair. One stair on each side. And then we'll have some lanterns just hanging here. Just for some light. Because we don't have any light in here right now except for the torches. Uh, and then we'll do a little desk, maybe. A little desk here. And I think we'll do it like this. Just something simple like that. I think that's good. Uh, and we can have... Maybe we'll have a, a barrel on the end here and we'll do a stair like that and a stair like that. Yeah, that's good. And we could do like an item frame on the top here and have it. Maybe this is uh, specifically iron ingots or something like that. Uh, and then I want to have some iron ore piled up somewhere. So let's grab that. And that should probably be in the back here as well. Or maybe just like right here. Maybe, maybe something like that. And we can mix in some stone and some stone slabs to just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And maybe a couple stairs as well. Uh, but I think that'll be a good look. So maybe something like that. Yeah. And then we can put a stair there. Maybe one right there. Then maybe even mix some cobblestone in. Or actually, andesite would probably look a little bit better. So we'll do andesite there and andesite there. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Now, do I want to bring this beam across like that? Um, I don't think I do. Let's put another one. Let's put another one right here. Uh, right there, actually. And we'll do a plank here and then bring that up to there. And let's just do that exactly how we did it on the other side with the logs going across like that and then stairs there and there and do i feel like i need another beam going across the middle here i don't know actually we could just put it up and uh strip it anyways because i'm mainly using the spruce for strip the logs so i'm okay with that let's uh make some more stairs and let's see how that looks yeah you know what i do like that and we'll put lantern there lantern there and then bring this across in the front. Boom, boom, boom. Strip those. And there we go. And we can get rid of these now and replace it with a lantern. Yeah, I think I like that. I think that's pretty good. And is there a center here? There is, okay. So yeah, I'm liking this. I think this is pretty cool. Now, let's just do a few small things to just add in some more detail. And actually, let's do a barrel here uh, or no, let's do it right here. Yeah. And this will be where we have iron ore. If we ever want to store iron ore, we can put it in here. And then this will be the ingots. Whoops. Ingots right there. That can just be random, random stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe like rails, just stuff you craft with iron, maybe rails, hoppers, stuff like that. And then right here, just for some, uh, some small decoration, I think I'm going to add in some crafting tables just like that. Now, what else could we add? Maybe another table here for uh, a stone cutter. Put a stone cutter on there. I feel like that could kind of fit the theme here. So we'll do something like that. And then did I miss a stair somewhere? I think I did, yeah, right there. Now we need to put in the ceiling. And I'm thinking I wanna do something like this, like beams going across. Whoops, not like that, like, oh geez like this 
have beams going across like this. I think that could be a cool look and it'll fit this, uh, this style we're going for. Yeah, I like that. So let me go ahead and do this throughout the entire room and we'll be back. All right, there we go. I think this place is looking very, very cool. I like this a lot. Uh, let's go ahead and add in like a back door right here. And actually I need to do cobblestone right there just so nothing, uh, no grass gr starts growing in here. And then we'll do cobblestone stair, put that right there. And then do I have any spruce doors around here? I'm sure I do. All right, put that right there. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, I think that's pretty much good. Other than, actually, I do wanna add some item frames. Let's make a bunch of sticks and a few more maybe. I wanna add a bunch of item frames so we can uh, display what is in the chest. Obviously, this one's iron ore, but we'll do that anyways. Then this one will be ingots. And boom, we'll put that like that. This one will also be ingots, but we're gonna put this sideways actually, I think. Uh, I think I prefer that, yeah. Uh, so let's grab another ingot. And then back here, I don't know if we'll have anything back here, but uh, maybe we'll just put a bucket there for now. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I like this, I like how this turned out. Can we do that there? Make it look like something? No, I don't think so. Maybe like a, maybe a pressure plate. Oh, we should do, actually, we should do an iron pressure plate there. One, two, and boom, boom, iron pressure plate. Yeah, I like that. Maybe one block over. And you know what? Let's make a painting real quick. And we'll go boom, boom, and we'll put it right there. And we'll try to do one of the, yeah, one of those ones. I think that'll be a good touch. All right, there we go. Yeah, this place is looking very nice. Very simple, uh, not a, a ton of stuff going on. And we might actually even add in some, uh, whoops, some stuff in the floor here, just to kind of mix it up a little bit more. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Let me know, let me know what you think of this little shop here that I made. How do you think it turned out? And uh, yeah, and let me know if there's a better iron farm. You know what, actually, this is a pretty this is a pretty good iron farm. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna redo this. It's decent, it's not the best. It's definitely not the best iron farm there is, but it's good enough for me. I mean, I've been here maybe an hour, maybe a half hour, I don't know, uh, since I finished building this, and got a stack and a half, and I've taken some out of it. So it's not bad, it's not too bad. Uh, do let me know though, if I add more villagers here, is that going to make it more efficient? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Man, I really like how this place turned out. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye. <laughs>